Okay, so I have everything wired back up again, but I haven't obviously put this thing back together, but um, let's see what's going on here. So I did do some updates, um, a few quick rundown based on the, the following the instructions of the manual. There is the first disk you need to do, uh, first thing you need to run is um, the system, is the operating system disk. And uh, my version was something like the, the bootloader was something zero, it was a 1.01. Uh, this is version 1.10, so this needed to be ran. And I installed a couple of things here following the instructions. It was fairly straightforward. Um, the next part was essentially to install the factory object, I guess objects disks, which uh, essentially has this right here, this OBJKB, uh, which is, um, I think this is the one that's absolutely needed. This is the base one, which you have to install to get KDFX apparently to work. And then you install these other ones based on which modules you have. I have these sampling options, so I was trying to install the OBJKL, I believe it was. Yes, which supports live mode. You can see here, according to the manual, kind of explains this as well, so you can kind of see. Um, but I am hitting a slight snag, and um, let's just show you guys what I see, and maybe someone can recognize this. So I boot it up, I hit the exit button, to get into here, which takes me into this system here. So the screen looks great. I didn't have to do any voltage changes. I didn't do any voltage. Maybe I was supposed to still. Maybe that's part of the problem. I'm not sure. Um, but everything seems to be working okay, at least up to a point. So uh, these are the menu options you go through to do the various installations. Um, but the problem I'm running into is that the, according to step 23, or actually 24, run the diagnostics. Let's turn off the KDF off, or the K2500 off, and then run the diagnostics. So you press the power button, please wait, you hit the, you know, the run diags. Uh, so here it is. So run diagnostics, I hit OK. Run diagnostics, I hit OK. Um, you know, it says basically this is going to erase memory, which I can, you know, there's no big deal. So we click OK. And then bring up this screen. So at this point, though, according to the instructions, it actually says that choose KDFX option from the di diagnostic window, and I don't see that as an option. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at, right, essentially. So I'm just not sure what's up. Um, I have not tried to play sound yet, uh, hooking on a MIDI device. That's one of my next steps to make sure, maybe even to see if the uh, sampling option is still working. Uh, maybe that's part of the problem. I'm just not sure at this point. But anyway, that's where I'm at right now. So everything went smooth so far, no errors, no trouble. I installed the, the objects successfully, as far as I can tell. Um, it's just not coming up, so we'll see.